Los Angeles. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. We have made it to the Big Apple. <laughs> the big, big sunny apple. Good morning, guys. Presley and I made it to Los Angeles. We got our Alfred. We're going to stop by Dom's house. We had the craziest travel day yesterday <laughs> like we should we couldn't have an every single way that we could have lucked out and like it was at the gates of heaven truly, for opening up for us truly we lucked out so we have a really great feeling about this weekend um we have a blowout later today john and Vinny's. i can't wait when i come to la i still live like the 2018 at los angeles lifestyle right. yeah. I, yeah. Let it go. Yeah. I feel like we're gonna have like a tumblr weekend you know yeah that's exactly <laughs> what it is Yes. Um, maybe I'll bust out my Anastasia. Yes. Um, eyebrow. Yes. Genius. Genius. <laughs> eyebrow powder. I got a chocachina. What'd you get? Ice latte? Um, I Vanilla? smell a latte with an extra shot of espresso. So good. Mm hmm Dom didn't want coffee. She's better than us, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's now 1247. Presley and I have our New Orleans with oat milks. We Jeez. literally last filmed at Alfred's. Get that. We went to Dom's and we hung out there this morning and then we needed another coffee and we're waiting for a table at Honor Bar. Yes, they come all the way to Los Angeles <laughs> to go to the restaurant that we go to every single week at home. We went to Honor Bar Marg before we're getting our blowouts for the weekend. If you guys don't know, by the way, this is my favorite coffee ever. Like ever, 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 ever. New Orleans with oat milk. I normally get a 16 ounce. I used to back in the day, they used to not even have 16 ounces, so I had to buy two of these for school. Isn't that crazy? It's just the best coffee ever. Oh my god. Back from our blowouts. We have to get ready for dinner actually pretty soon. But we have a little Sephora haul. We stopped in Sephora on the way out because I needed a couple things. And then I got more things. So, first thing I got is this Patrick Ta blush in She's a Doll. It's very bright pink. I like bright pink blush, bright pink lip gloss, bright pink honestly anything. I think I've had one of his blushes before. Um, how do I open? No, maybe not because I can't even open this. So it's cream and powder. It looks pretty intense, but that's typically what I like. So I also got this Too Faced lip injection, and I thought it was gonna be like a hot pink, but the box is literally red. So, oh, that is definitely red. It's Strawberry Kiss, so it should have been obvious to me, but I don't know. I feel like it might be good over certain lip glosses or lips sticks it's not too red so this might work I'm not really like a red lip girl but I love like a bright you guys guessed it pink on the lip in the summer I have the Patrick Ta bronzer brush but I got the blush brush tonight for dinner we're going to John and Benny's I'm somehow really tired this is my new blush brush that's harder to say than you'd think. Feeling a little tired, but we have John and Benny's girl dinner tonight, so I need to snap back into it. Oh, I also picked up the pressed powder from Rare, just because my skin has been getting pretty oily, and I just kind of wanted to see it. I need a little puff thing, but we'll see how I like it. I love Rare Beauty. I got the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I haven't used this in at least a year. I've been using House Labs, which I love, but I don't know. I was feeling like I needed to give this a try again. So it's actually going to be exciting to do my makeup tonight because I have new makeup to try. Last thing, I copied Presley. This is what she uses for her bronzer. Patrick Ta. This is in She Sculpted Medium same sort of vibe as the blush but a bronzer so looks great it's my sephora haul honestly presley i might make one of those coffees do you want one 
What coffee? In the room, like there's a, I don't know what kind it is, let me look. Wait, do we have a machine in here? Yeah, this thing right here, I can make these coffees. Wait, what? That's what these little paws are. Oh my god, wait, yeah, Here, I'll take a little shot. A little shot? A little it's the only shot that will be taken? No, literally, I need a little shot. Pick me up. Also, y'all. I really got to drink our blue bottle. No, our blue bottle was kind of drama on our bar, but um, just so everyone knows, I almost got third degree burns because I was steaming my clothes for once, and I picked this up, and it, like, the water <laughs> squirted out on me really hot, and it's actually all over here, so I need to clean that up. I'm like, let's not, let's not get too excited here. Um, do you want any sugar? Uh, I can just, I'll just bring you both. Okay. There's this really cute set that I just got from Free People. They're micro shorts and this top. I think I showed it in a recent vlog. And then I'm wearing my black kitten heels from Sam Edelman. Oh my god. My black <laughs> kitten heels from <laughs> Sam Edelman. I just kicked the wall. And then my black purse. And this is the vibe. I'm actually showing up to Johnny Minnie's in Johnny Minnie's colors today. I decided I wanted to match the restaurant so that's good um and my hair just is kind of a mess it's like fallen and there's only so much you can do so anyways we're heading out to dinner and then i think we're gonna go somewhere after i have no idea honestly i just want john and benny's like that sounds so fabulous to me hi girlies oh wow what? It's a little high. <laughs> hey girls. Hey girlies. That's perfect. Day five in Los Angeles. My voice is gone. That's crazy. You've been here for five days. My energy levels are shot. I stayed. Presley left Sunday. I stayed an extra couple of days so I could like see just like my LA friends. But honestly, I had literally no energy at all. We went to Keaton's last night. Oh, I'm at TK's, obviously. We went to Keaton's last night. We hung out. You're at the new crib. I'm at Tika's new place. It's so cute. Look at my cute little coffee mug. It's I literally saw... I will, well, I saw like five friends in two days, basically. That's good. But that's not bad. I'm just so... Like, what do you think it is that has made us so tired? Um, well, I think it's like... I've been staying up till 4 a.m. going out, probably. Well, that would... That could definitely, like, play into it. Yeah. Like, I did that the night of the SBs, and I did that... At the same weekend like why what was i doing i was honestly having a blast like it's crazy my the 75 hard to like party tk yeah. pipeline is kind of crazy yeah that's what happens but i wasn't even being like that insane i was just like having a good time and like you know time flies when you're having fun i was hanging out with serena sorry serena called sorry yeah, literally yeah i think it's <clears throat> i mean we've been going about like midnight which is 2 a.m my time yeah so like that'll do it my voice, I hope it comes out. I'm supposed to record a podcast tomorrow. I'm hosting an editor cooking class tomorrow. Like I, You'll be fine. I keep thinking that, but I keep thinking it's going to come back. And I was like, uh, you know? That's okay. You have a little sexy, raspy voice. Now. I need to go to a doctor on my voice. Oh, like, really? Seriously. Like, even yesterday, some blood friend was like, you should probably go. Wait, why? I would know. Um, like, just because I hurt? lose it so often. Oh. Like, that's, like, not good. Hey, good thing and, you're not a singer. No. I know, and like, I'm, you know I would give anything to be a country artist like that. If I could be Carrie Underwood, like, I would do anything for that. So this would be insured if I was her. You know her legs are insured? I've heard that. Is that true? Wait, what is it? What, what do you even mean You can that? like insure different things on your body. It's like a real thing. Like in addition to health insurance? Like, it, what yeah. does that even mean though? Like if something were to happen to your legs, like, if, 
I don't know. Excuse me, athletes to do this, maybe this is a lie. The idea is that like something would happen to like your let's say your legs actually matter that much in your career, then you would get like a payout. I think from who? I don't know. That's crazy. I don't really fully understand it, but what would you insure? My lips. <laughs> My juicy lips and my mouth. See, and if you were a lip model and you're, something happened to your lips, then you'd be screwed. Yeah. Okay. No, like, I see where you're going with this. I just have never heard of this. No, and I, it's just like people get injured and can't play sports anymore, so. You know what I mean? I fear I'm lost. <laughs> oh, I am too. Wait, but how, yeah, why wouldn't athletes be able, like, when I know, athletes get injured, I, they can't get That's why out. I feel like this whole idea that I have is just wrong. Bro. I'll look into it. Yeah, I mean. That would be crazy. Have you read any books lately? No, I don't really know how to read. <laughs> um, I well, you're out of study that far too. You know what? I've been trying to like get into something, and I just like can't. Like, I feel like I've been in a show grind. I've been watching Love Island. I'm not really into like. Uh, I don't know. I haven't had a strong desire to read mainly just because I'm. So tired by the time I get to bed, I don't want to. No, I was in a book rut for like four months. I just got back into it. Like, okay, maybe I should start with. Is there a book okay. I should start with? Okay, so I really liked. Um, I read this really dark and twisted one. You don't like. Sorry, me. this is distracting your blog. You don't like dark and twisted, I don't feel like. Wait, what do you mean? Well, it's like really disturbing. This like thriller book that I read. Like, is it scary? Kind of. It's just like a little graphic. Like, in what way? So I don't think that would be. It's like. If I do these dishes. Yeah, well, I'm about to be not even saying this one. It's not graphic, it's just like, I don't know, but I, I love Emily Giffen and she writes books, like there's this one book that she has that I literally talk about this all the time, like, it's probably, I talk about it in the podcast so it comes out this week, but it's like loosely based off like Caroline Bissett Kennedy and it's like off the Kennedys, but like you don't oh, know, cool. it's a fully fictional book, but it's like loose, like you realize like, oh this is like giving Kennedys, and then I just read another book of hers that is like tied into like 9-11. So it's like really interesting because it's like historical things that like you obviously know so much about the book, but it's not historical fiction because I'm not like this historical fiction. Did you like The Nightingale? Mm -hmm. Did you read that? Um, yeah, I didn't like it as much as people hype it up to. I, I feel the same way. I didn't think it was like people said it was like it's not my vibe of a book. I feel like, but it's a guy like just told too me. mature. <laughs> a guy just told me to send my like top five favorite no, books, and I just said that because like I didn't really know what to say. And it makes you sound like smarter. No, uh, and yeah, and I was like, in a, the Nightingale, of course. Obviously. I love that one. But like, me to like the girlies, I'm like, it wasn't that great. Right. <laughs> like, it's, it was fine. It's one of those books that like, I know that it's like, actually a really well written, book, well, like, well done book. It's just not necessarily like, my vibe. But it was like a good book, I feel like. I just wasn't like, this is not my favorite thing ever. I just think people like, gas it up like it's like the best book ever written. Which like maybe it isn't I'm the dumb one. You know? I feel like I'm just the dumb one in that. You know? What's your favorite book? I feel like I forgot. I don't, so many. I don't know. I really don't know. I just have so many books. I love Magnolia Park series. Like I actually should read it back because I haven't read it in four years. What's that? Just this book. Like a London version of Gossip Girl but like way better. Oh. Well, anyways, girlies, just wanted to catch up. I'm off to lunch and back to Texas tonight. I don't land in Texas till midnight. Sucks. So. By the way, y'all, this week I've been driving this Chevrolet Equinox. It's their electric car. It's been such a nice car. I've loved it so much. Thank you so much to Chevy. It's just the nicest car. It's so sick. I want to drive this. Like, I actually want this to be my car at home. Oh my gosh, hello, I have missed y'all, what a week it's been, so I accidentally left this vlog camera at TK's, it's now the following Monday. I got back from LA late Tuesday night, 
if you follow me on social media, I had like all this drama because they checked my carry-on last minute at the gate, classic, and then I got home. No one cares about airport drama, but like for some reason I'm telling everyone this story. I got home. It's because I don't feel like I have closure, if I'm being honest, okay? I got home at 3 a.m. Every time I tell the story, I add like 20 minutes, but in all seriousness, I, I do think I got home at like 2.30 because we didn't land until 12.30. I was waiting for my bag for an hour because it took forever for the bag to come out. And then I see a brown base bag that looks just like mine, but it's not mine because it was a lot lighter, all right? It didn't even have, like, you know how you have to, like, expand your suitcase? Like, mine's always expanded all the way out. This one didn't expand once. I knew this is not mine. So I saw it, and I had this, like, really quick fleeting thought of, God, I hope someone isn't so tired that they try, that they take, like, my bag thinking it was theirs because we have the same luggage. And it was a carry-on that I didn't even have, like, a tag on. <laughs> no air tag. Like, I, I can't talk about it. Um, I wait. No bag. The only one that's left at the baggage claim is that brown bag. So clearly, like, someone took it because it's tracking the DFW. I didn't get it back until, like, Friday or Saturday. Um, they didn't... Whatever. I didn't get it back until, like, Friday or Saturday, which is fine. But I had flown back in because I was hosting a press event for a friend of mine. And I needed stuff in that bag. Whatever. First one problem is not that big a video. And then I was just, like, in an off mood. Like, going to LA, it just, like, set me off. Like, it was a good time. Don't get me wrong. But I have never been more tired than I was last week. For really no good reason. Like, sure, my sleep schedule was, was uh, like, I don't know. But I'm just happy to say that we are back. We're getting back into a routine. Today's Monday, my birthday, 2027. It's actually on Thursday. Um, and I've just been getting some work done over here. Um, we just shot new merch that launches Wednesday. So it'll be up by the time you guys see this, hopefully, if I get the vlog up in time. And look at our two new cute hats, our little Texas hats. They're very patriotic, very Team USA. Wasn't even intentional. I just am wearing red and navy blue every day right now. So loved that. This is very exciting, and then I've just been doing a little, like, friend of mine stuff, but I miss vlogging, and we're gonna get back into the swing of things, all right? We're getting back into our routine. I cleaned today. My house is so organized. I just self-tanned. I sat down, and I got, like, all this, probably, like, six hours of the stuff that I've just been putting on for the longest time. I got my blood drawn today. Like, I've just been doing everything that I haven't wanted to do, which is the best and the worst feeling ever so it's just me and the pups as you guys can see here i'm wearing a cute little skim set um i tanned my skin's looking a little scaly here which i'm scared about because i just exfoliated what's that about i don't know by the way these like skims boxer sets are the best they're just so comfortable and lightweight and they're like so good for summer because i love a long sleeve and these are just amazing i'm so happy to have this vlog camera back. Like, this is just so exciting. Good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday. I just showered and got ready. I have some meetings this morning. I ran 3.2 miles. I'm on my 10K running plan. I say this like every day, but I'm really scared because I have my first five mile run on Thursday, which is my birthday. And so I really want to be able to do it. But this week, I've just been so sluggish, like beyond, beyond, beyond. Today was the first day I was a little bit looser, but I'm just like, oh my god, this is terrifying. So, anyways, um, this is my fit, and then I have a hair appointment today, so I'm going to be working from the chair. This top is Macy's on 34th. Macy's on 34th, love. their podcast sponsor, and I wear their stuff all the time. These pants are Abercrombie. They are my favorite, like, trouser pants. I'll have them linked below. They're the best prices, um, and I have so many. This is on. These are Sam Edelman. Basically, I have... So many of these exact shoes, so many of these exact pants. I'll show you guys. I was just in my closet. Um, down here, it's a little bit unorganized right now because I just moved all this around. There's like two that are in the wash. All of these pants are these, and then this is a skirt, but like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven of these pairs of pants because I wear them all the time. Like these are pretty much the only pants that I wear. And then as y'all saw in the last vlog, so many Sam Edelman ballet flats. So many Sam, like literally so many. Guys, the cr it's actually crazy. Every single one of these pairs of shoes is Sam Edelman. Just on this row alone and there's more. But I wear them all, except for these are Express, sorry. But 
I love them all. I wear these to my Dallas Live show. That was almost, well, it's like a year and a half ago. Isn't that crazy? That feels like it was two days ago, but also my entire life is different, so. Anyways, this is the fit. I'm gonna make some water. I have a call in 15 minutes, so gotta get myself together. Time for meeting number two. Look at how cute this is. My grandma got me these cups for my birthday because I love the ones with hearts. I got them randomly. I'm such a glass girl, like glasses, whatever you're drinking your liquids out of, makes it taste completely different. Like literally completely different drink. Perfect iced coffee cups. And they also have themed ones coming out. Like I'm getting so excited for the fall and holiday themes. So I will be purchasing all of the Halloween ones and then I'll be purchasing all the Christmas ones, okay? I don't even know when I'm gonna have Halloween set up because this year I have to, I have to literally decorate my house. Um, by Halloween basically because we're doing a bunch of like press stuff so normally I'm a November 1st girl but I think I'm gonna be like in October 15th I have to be honest with you guys okay and listen I deserve some sort of joy this year so I'm not even gonna hear it from my haters okay I'm getting a call with our PR team for a friend of mine and we are going through the rest of the launches I just did a call with um, like my project management side and we are brainstorming gift boxes for our future launches. The next couple months, a friend of mine, I feel like are going to be so good. And I just have a really good feeling about it. I feel like y'all are going to love like everything that we're doing. And I just okay. Hi. What's up? Okay, how is everyone? While we're here, I feel like I haven't gone through friend of mine products recently. We have our recipe binder which I love so much, fully customizable, there's a pocket. You can decide how many pages you want in each section. There's breakfast, lunch, dinner, treats and drinks. Love this so much. Um, okay, we have the recipe journal. We have new covers. I'm not gonna show you the new cover yet, but I love the recipe journal. This will always be like my forever favorite. It's our first product, it's like the crowd fave. Um, again, we have four different sections, but obviously you can't decide what you have per section. We have our conversions in here, which it's like just so cute. Different. It's amazing. So basically, like, it just depends on your preference and how much you actually feel like you're gonna fill it up. Personally, I'm still a journal girl. Like, I love the journal, but the binder I feel like is just better as far as like options and all those things. But I am just biased, I think, because it was our first product. And something about writing down my favorite recipes, having them all in one place, it's very therapeutic to me. Like when I'm sitting there and writing them, I love that. And that's also kind of how I learn. So I feel like I actually like commit them to memory. And then we of course have our dinner cards and our nightcap cards. These, oh, sorry. Safe for work, a little bit raunchier. These are like 2.0, a little bit more intimate. Play this with any crowd. Play this with closer friends if you're on a date kind of vibe. They're really fun and I feel like at the end of the day we all just want to like connect and feel seen and heard. And these cards are really like a vehicle to do so. And I'm just really passionate about them. I feel like all the products at the end of the day, like a friend of mine is a home brand that's really dedicated to connecting people. And we love that. And also, the bid has been sold out for quite some time. This is our limited edition drop with Macy, our collaboration. These are like an extra deck that I have right now, so they're not even open. They're just so fun. They're a different category. They're bigger. They're perfect for girls' nights, bachelorettes, all the things. And we will be restocking these. So if you guys want to get on our restock list, go on the website and you can sign up because when those restock, we're still doing a limited batch. Um, and if you want them for Christmas or the holidays or anything like that as a gift, I know it's literally August, but you know, you gotta get ahead of it. Um, these will be restocking in the next couple of months and it's a limited restock. So you definitely wanna make sure that you get it when it restocks. Get on that restock list. We restocked like, I think 20 that we found in the fulfillment center that we thought were gone, but we found them. We restocked them and they were sold out in like 10 seconds. So you wanna get on that list. Um, if you guys are looking to get the bet, you will have another opportunity this year. Sorry, not, not the second. Made it to Maddie's new salon. It is so cute. It's also closer to me. If y'all are in Dallas, um, she's North Dallas. North of Dallas, not North Dallas. Sorry y'all, Maddie interrupted my tour because she was knocking so loudly. But it's so cute. This, is, this just gives better energy to Maddie. 
It was? It's a better vibe. I know, right? Better energy. Can I clean this up first? No. I have stuff all over the table. Well, I would hope so. That means that you're working. That's a good, good sign. Um, anyways, I need to order lunch, but it's really cute. We're watching Just Trish, but this is a very, very, very serious question. Should I do this next time with my hair? We're staying blonde. Like, what do you guys think? I like a little bit lighter, I think. Do I do that? It's just basically darker. Please, I'm letting you guys make the decision. I'm not kidding, I can't decide. Y'all, I love, love, love my hair. Maddie killed it today, not to gas her up, but literally so good. Just perfect, you gotta move up and some color. That is it for this vlog. I hope y'all enjoyed. Texas merch is available now. New Home of Mine episode with Kate Davis just went live on my socials. My 27th birthday podcast episode is going live tomorrow on the Houseguest YouTube channel. Go subscribe. Um, and everything is available right now on Friend of Mine. Love you guys so much. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you soon. Bye.